The Bitcoin exchange reserve ratio for United States versus offshore platforms has been declining recently, according to on-chain data. This teaches us the following. The Bitcoin reserve of the US-based exchanges is decreasing, as an analyst noted in a CryptoQuant report. The total quantity of Bitcoin that is currently stored in the wallets of a single centralized exchange or a network of similar platforms is measured by the exchange reserve indicator. The exchange reserve ratio is the relevant indicator in this case rather than the real exchange reserve. This indicator provides information about the ratio between the exchange reserves of two specified sets of platforms, as its name suggests. The American and international platforms are the two sets of exchanges that are being discussed at this time. When the value of this ratio rises, it indicates that there are more coins available on US-based platforms than there are on offshore exchanges. This logically implies that American platforms are receiving more deposits, or just fewer withdrawals, than those from other countries. Before we continue, I want to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you have any questions or thoughts about the topics we're discussing, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers and we'll do our best to respond to as many comments as possible. Now, let's get back to the video. On the other hand, the metrics declining value indicates that global platforms are currently experiencing greater increase in their reserves than US-based exchanges. Here is a graph that illustrates the trend in the reserve ratio of US-based versus offshore Bitcoin exchanges over the past few years. The Bitcoin exchange reserve ratio for these two groups of sites has been declining since the first half of 2022, as shown in the previous graph. This suggests that in comparison to overseas platforms, the supply on US-based exchanges has been steadily falling. The fall has been particularly severe after large crashes, when some important platforms have failed and market-wide FUD has caused investors to remove their coins from centralized exchanges. Although the drawdown may have temporarily accelerated as a result of these crashes, the overall exchange supply of Bitcoin has been declining for quite some time. All exchanges are experiencing a decrease in supply because the decline has been a market-wide phenomenon. The decline has been particularly pronounced for the US-based platforms, nevertheless, given that the exchange reserve ratio has kept declining. This would suggest that at this time, investors have been leaving American exchanges at a quicker rate. At the time of this video, Bitcoin price is trading around $27,800, up 0.8% in the last week. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this video informative and helpful in staying up to date on the latest developments in Bitcoin and other digital currencies. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on the topics we discussed in this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.